like you ever felt. Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. X79 motherboard. This is a M3A79X Deluxe motherboard. I mean, look, it has a power and a reset switch and built-in heat sinks. And it has the fastest CPU that it can go in in this motherboard. Uh, but this motherboard is going for about 100 bucks or so. And I mean, and it's, it's a jewel. It's a masterpiece. It really is. And then I have another masterpiece over here. The M5A7BLM by Zeus. Um, these are both AMD motherboards. This one right here uh, is actually quite expensive. There's only one listed right now on eBay and it's selling for uh, $200, but I don't believe that's correct. This board I'd probably sell for maybe 50 or 60. But the main reason why, um, oh, there's my rabbit. Uh, this is stuff right here that needs to go out in the garage. <clears throat> needs to go out there. I got a couple power supplies here that need to go out and a graphics card that needs to go out into the new studio. Um, this right here is an NZXT case that we got. We have another computer over there. But anyway, uh, it's going to be modified. You see it? It has a great look to it. And uh, I like that look, especially with the... Um, uh, watch out, bunny. Especially with the front. You know, the front has a great look to it, too. And what I was thinking about doing was actually converting this into a test bench. It would be really easy for me to paint and modify these because all of the stuff that's inside of it comes out real easy. And most of it is unscrewed, like all this is on hinges. And it was almost like this case was built to be modified. I could take all of this stuff out, mask it off, and repaint it a different color. All right, and then I was checking this out. Look at this. This is a built-in fan controller right here, uh, an NZXT fan controller, which is why it has all this um, this built-in PWM and stuff. But anyway, I was thinking about turning this into a test bench. get the new bracket installed because this is the new CPU cooler we're going to use because it has a RGB light on it so I'm gonna go ahead and just install the bracket and we will go from there got us some RAM this is a 4x4 kit of DDR3 rip draws by G skill and then check these suckers out. These are OCZ Reaper Edition. Um, this is a DDR2 platform, OT2 gigs. All right, so I just got back and I got the uh, Windows 10 hard drive. Uh, hooked that up to this and we got the power supply cable that we needed. So let's go ahead and see what we can do. See if we can get it powered on. Okay, so I went ahead and plugged it in and look what happened the power and reset light came on so I'm gonna go ahead and give that a pull and see what happens hopefully does it take a minute do I have to hold it there it goes yes all right that looks way better oh yeah a lot, lot better than the uh, the stock cooler that was on it uh, let's see if we can get a post. What's going on? Why is the... So I got it. Keyboard's responding. The fans are spinning. But the mouse isn't responding. The light isn't coming on it. And I'm still not getting no picture. So I got to figure out what is going on with this thing. And I'm not getting any error codes. It's not making any beeps. It's just acting like it's not hooked up correctly or something. So, and troubleshoot begins.
So I wasn't getting any errors and wasn't getting no signal and I tried all the different ports on it. I even tried different slots on the motherboard and stuff so I guess what we're going to have to do is go to a different graphics card so I got a what the so I got a GTX 1050 Ti 4 gig card that I'm going to stick in here and see if that works. Well, after looking at a couple of things, I have realized that I have 11 bent pins on the CPU. And I don't know if the camera can pick them up but this whole left side right here was just horribly bent and then on top of that I got thermal paste all over it right go figure so I have been sitting here with a razor blade and a credit card trying to get every single one of them nice and straight and I finally got them all nice and straight so yeah tired let's uh let's see what else is going down i am still not getting anything even after i tried putting that cpu back in there and then doing a couple other stuff um it's just not it ain't happening i need to uh i don't know i don't know if uh i think that this motherboard here is the same socket but it's DDR3, which I'm not sure how that could be. Actually, you know what? This is an AM3 Plus motherboard, and that is an AM or an AM2. So yeah, that won't work either. Crud. AM3. Yeah. Nope. All right. Well, at least it looks cool with the with the CPU thing on it and this funky style of uh, RAM with the heat sinks on it I think that's kind of cool but maybe what I'll do is uh, I'll take it and I'll put it up on the wall just like that the way it sits and that would be kind of like a cool art piece or something I don't know but anyway guys I'm out of here thank you so much for watching my channel my boring ass channel if you think my channel is boring give it a thumbs up and subscribe as always you guys be cool and peace